show, which is what this is. Um, folks, <laughs> keep your thought going on right now. Um, I want to talk about one more political issue, if that's all right. Um, and it's something that's kind of well trodden territory for comics and in public discourse. Um, it's an issue that's been in the news for about five, six years now. Uh, it's not necessarily peak at the moment, but it's split the country in two, hasn't it? Um, it's dogmatic, everyone sits on either side of the fence, and to be honest, I'm still not sure whether I'm team Meghan or team the Duchess of Cambridge. Um, <laughs> that's mad, isn't it? Um, so, it's odd, because it seems that the, the discourse surrounding it has become like, really muddied, hasn't it? It's, a lot of commentators seem to be kind of, like, personally invested in it. And I know people say that uh, Meghan said those really horrible things to the kids on the wedding day, don't they? <laughs> yeah, especially, it's quite sad. But then, you look at the Oprah interview, and well, Megan's had a rough time, hasn't she? And what was Kate? Is that a challenge? So what I've done to definitively kind of put us to bed tonight, um, I've just written a, a very long list of pros and cons, um, which we're just going to go through item by item, and uh, we're just going to see who's better. This is that. Uh, we're going to start with Megan, and we're going to do some like full Megan. Um, all right. Um, Megan Four, she's American, she's cool, she isn't white like a lot all of the royals are. <laughs> she was in suits and suits was fine and she has a lovely smile and wears it most of the time. <laughs> Megan against. She's extremely racist against the Amish. <laughs> she called Prince George a fat asshole. <laughs> she's woeful at archery. She called Princess Charlotte a fat asshole. <laughs> Her favourite film is Eddie Murphy's Norbit. <laughs> she called Prince Charles a fat asshole. It's like a catchphrase going to thing on this thing. Um, Alright, let's see some Kate. Uh, Kate Ford, she seems charming. She has a tasteful collection of hats. Uh, Kate against, she's a Tory probably. Um, she hasn't been public about it. But she is. Um, Kate Ford, her father runs a company that deals mainly with delivering of party supplies, so she's a very useful person to know if you're organising a party or have one in the pipeline. <laughs> Kate against, she's over to the UK's premier theme park, Chesterton World of Adventures. <laughs> Kate Ford, she could probably get you a free ticket to the UK's premier theme park, Chesterton World of Adventures. <laughs> Kate against, She's got no interest in taking you to the UK's premier theme park. <laughs> Chess is in World of Adventures. <laughs> I see some Megan. Uh, Megan Four. She looks great in mustard, and mustard is in. <laughs> <laughs> Megan against. She was the lady who walked through that cat in that bin in 2009. <laughs> <laughs> Kate Four. Uh, she's never heard a fly. Uh, Kate against. She has cried. <laughs> She's in Megan. Um, Megan against. She never calls back. <laughs> Megan against. She never texts back. <laughs> Megan against. She acts like it was nothing. <laughs> Megan against, she acts like she never knew me. <laughs> Megan Four, she knew me. <laughs> Megan Four, she knew my soul. <laughs> Megan Four, she loved me. <laughs> she loved every part of me for what it was. <laughs> that last day was hell. <laughs> But she held me, and she held me, and she whispered sweet everything into my soft English with Irish descent ears. <laughs> it rained, but we didn't care. Thunder shattered, but we didn't care. I don't even remember where we were because time and space and life all collapsed into one until it was just a void of me and her. Megan and I. And as she walked away, 
I had to sink into myself. But she stopped. She stopped. And she turned around. And she said one last thing to me. She said, Make any ends. She called me fat arsehole. <laughs>